What up y'all, it's the homie Dame, and I'm back again to react to some Black Clover while sitting in a depressing white void. I made a video ranking the OPs for Black Clover, so surprise surprise, now I'm doing the endings. I mean, it is the most viewed video on this embarrassment of a channel, so why not? As always, I'm a musician, so I'm going to be judging these endings on a scale of 1 to 5, looking at the music first and the visuals second. Uh, oh, and I haven't watched Black Clover, so I've only read the manga, so I'm watching these blind. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if I talk shit about your favorite ending, because that's a very likely possibility. Also, let me know if you want me to react to your other favorite anime openings, because I do that too. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, the very first Black Clover ending is Aoi Hono by, oh god, Ito Wakashi. Ito Wakashi, alright, well, fingers crossed for a strong start. Oh, cool. This video has the English lyrics in it. All right, right off the bat, the singer sounds like he's got that old school Japanese style of delivery. Sounds like an Asian dad singing karaoke, which I mean is a huge compliment because I love that aesthetic. You know what? I kind of love this art style. I don't know what it's called or how to describe it, but like this light line art with this washed out palette. I don't know. It looks like Tower of God. I think it'd be cool if like an A-list shonen had a unique art style like this for like the whole show. I love when shonens show the rival characters in sequences like this because it makes them look like a couple in a rom-com or something. Like it's the same thing when they have scenes of just Naruto and Sasuke or I don't know like Deku and Bakugo. They do stuff like this and it's like, damn, do these two love each other? Okay, that was a solid start. Uh, the song was really simple. The instrumentation was kind of understated in the mix, um, and it really got out of the way to make sure the vocals stood out, which were great, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't know. This will be a really good solid benchmark ending to compare the rest of the list to, so I'm gonna say like a three out of five. Okay, next is Amazing Dreams by Swanky Dank. Oh God, here we go. You know, if you're gonna call yourself Swanky Dank, why not go all the way and make it like Swanky Danky? You know, get a little rhyme going. Oh, okay, they're an emo pop punk band. That explains everything. Right off the bat, this sounds exactly what I'd expect an emo pop punk band called Swanky Dank to sound like. It is nice though, I kind of like it. Oh, I really hope it's just an instrumental with no vocal. Uh. Man, you know, I really like the chaotic sounding guitars. Damn, they should have just made this an instrumental with no singing, because I really like the way the drums and the guitars sound on their own. I mean, a homeboy here isn't bad on the vocals, though. I would just rather listen to the backing band. Do I want to die? Maybe after watching all these endings, I might. I'll be optimistic, though. All right, uh, that one was good, too. Uh, I was kind of talking shit on the vocals, but they were actually really good. I'm just being a prick. Um, this one was just a really solid punk song with cool guitar riffs and really passionate vocals. The visuals were cool, too. Um, I feel like that film grain they had almost gave me epilepsy, though. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm going to say this is a solid 3 out of 5. Okay, uh, Black to the Dreamlight by Empire. Oh, I remember them. Uh, they did one of the openings, which I reacted to in this video. Um, I don't remember if I liked it, though. Hopefully I like this. Oh shit, Noelle looks like she's drawn in ReZero's art style here. Has anyone else noticed that like ReZero characters have like extra like slanted eyes? I can do this, I'm Asian, don't fucking cancel me. Okay, whether or not I like this song will depend on the drop because it's been pretty mess so far. Oh, that's nice. I thought it would be something horribly embarrassing, like some EDM drop, but this is like nice. I don't know why. I thought it'd be like that because the beginning didn't sound electronic at all. Okay, this is actually really good. <laughs> oh, okay, there's Asta. I was like, is it going to be Noel this whole time? Oh, that was nice. Asta and Noel is the shit. Okay, yeah, um, I like that one a lot. The song had uh, that booming, authentic drop. Sounded like something that would go hard at like an outdoor festival like Coachella or Lollapalooza. Uh, really sweeping and epic vocals and it really felt well, uh, fit well with the visuals too. I'd say it was kind of like this um, intimate, sentimental thing with Noel and then Asta was there too and it was dope, man. Um, it gave me like movie adaptation of a YA novel feel, you know what I mean? Like kind of like Fault in the Stars or something. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say four out of five. That was, that was great. Speaking of four, the next ending is called Four by Fakey or Facky. Sorry if I said that wrong. Unless this ending is terrible, then I'm not sorry. Oh, I love when they do like modern day. Oh, what if these fantasy characters were in a real Japanese high school? 
Like, don't you want to see your favorite characters wear school uniforms? I do. Why is Noelle sad in all these? I get her backstory is pretty rough, but she looked like Asta just dumped her ass for mimosa or something. Oh, some English. That sounds dope. Alright, let's hear this hook. What? What? What is- what? I hear something weird with her voice, like there's some weird phasing, I don't know, what the fu- Is that auto-tune? That sounds a little awkward. I heard slight auto-tune earlier, but this is like they ran it through a phaser filter or something. Oh, that's actually interesting. If it is a stylistic choice, that is. Damn, she's saying we're perfect as four, but there are only three of them. Imagine if the fourth was like Vanessa or some shit, like this grown ass woman frolicking with these high school girls, that'd be kind of funny. The more this hook goes on, the more I think I like it. I don't know why. Hmm, okay, that was that was actually a really interesting one. At first it sounds like a really generic, really standard like pop song or a pop ballad, which there's nothing wrong with that. Not everything has to be like this innovative, genre-defying, uh, whatever. Sometimes just executing a tired and true concept really well is just the best thing. Uh, but the more I think about it, the more it's like there are these weird little stylistic choices and details in there that make it more interesting than it seems at first glance. For example, it's like the significant use of English phrases, you know, the effects on the vocals, which I can only assume is a combination of auto-tune and maybe like phaser processing, and like small weird vocal choices, like how she does this, this run at the end of the song. Let me see. Right here. At first it sounds like she went too flat, but I think that's on purpose. Let me, let me look this girl up, hold on. Oh, it's a group, a five-person group. Damn, okay. A five-person group writing a song called Four for an opening with three people. Damn. And this song gets a two out of five. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Apparently, Fakie stands for five ass-kicking youngsters. That's fucking wild. All right, I was going to give this a three, but I'm going to bump it up to four out of five just for that. Next is Tenjo Tenge by Miyuna. Ah, shit. If you watch my opening reactions, I was simping hard for her because I really like Gamashara. Uh, so I have high hopes for her here. Yes, dude. Fuck yes, dude. I knew she wouldn't disappoint. I can imagine Bruno Mars working with this instrumental. It gives me like uptown funk energy. Ooh, the instrument's going crazy right now. That guitar is nice. I love me some funk. I don't know if that goes with Black Clover though. <laughs> it looks like visuals wise, this is like another vaguely homoerotic thing with Yuno and Asta. Why does Noelle's face look like Norman from The Promised Neverland here? You know, I will say her voice doesn't sound as good here as it does in Gamushara, but that's probably because she ain't really singing singing here. This is more about like the beat and the bounce of the song than it is about her putting on a vocal performance. Damn, get a room, yo. I'm just playing when I say that. I know they're not actually gay or whatever. Not that there'd be anything wrong with that if they were, but... Actually, that'd be kind of lit. You know, imagine if at the end of Black Clover, the mangaka was like, fuck it, and just made the last chapter a hardcore, cathartic sex scene between Yuno and Asta. I would crack the fuck up. Not even that extreme. Imagine if they just started, like, dating or confessed to each other. I don't think any shonen will have the balls to do that, but if they did, they'd have all my respect in the world for just the audacity. And then, like, poor Noel is peeking in through the window, like, damn it, fuck. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Let me... Let's talk about the ending. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of that song had this like infectious bounce and of course, you know, Miana sounded great even though she wasn't doing anything crazy with her voice like in Gamushara. Uh, everything sounded really good still. I'm gonna say this is a... Uh, this is a four. To be honest, this was dope. Damn, no fives yet. I wonder if uh, my song, my days will be the one. Looks like it's by Solidemo. Solid... Oh, is it? Is it like solid emo but one word? Uh, I don't know. And it's featuring Sakuramen. Is it, okay, well, is that Sakuramen or Sakuramen? Oh, God. Oh, I forgot this dude was a character. What is his name again? Zane? Zane, Zane Malik? Oh. Oh, Zora. That's right. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's kind of cool. You hear those, like, hella Asian sounding mandolin plucks? Here they go. More Yuno know, and Asta. Hey, meh. I'm not saying anything. Just look for yourself. This is probably the best instrumental I've heard so far because there are some really interesting and varied sounds that they got going on. Vocals wise, it's very. Eh, it's not bad at all, but not really doing anything for me. Oh shit, it's Best Girl Mariliona. 
Comment below who your favorite Black Clover character is. Bro, Asta look like he actually getting some brain right now. Noel wilding down there out of frame. Or it's probably Yuno actually. Eh, that one was okay. It really was like the instrumentation that saved this song for me. Uh, I'm gonna say like a three. Damn, you know, these endings are all really good though. I haven't given a two or one yet.